Hello Theodore Giras, guitarcourses.org and another lesson for you. Today I'm going to show you a cool and easy way to learn how to transform the boring power chords into something like a whole chord and arpeggio rhythm playing style but without knowing any theory. And this is the trick here that you will be able to transform a power chord to a chord and play some cool riffs without knowing theory, notes, chords, scales, etc. How are you going to do that? I will show you right now. First of all, I will play you a very simple, typical heavy metal power chord chord progression and then I will show you what I'll do and how I will transform it into something really cool. Let's go. The tempo is 120 and the uh, rhythm pattern is simply triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three. Typical heavy metal. Let's go. Triplets. And it goes like that. E. C. D. B. One more time. E. C. D. No talking. This is the main idea, very well known chord progression, the 50% of the typical heavy metal songs goes like that and now I will show you how you can transform it, this boring thing, into something cool and interesting. So first of all, we have four chords, E, C, D and B. Okay, uh, everything that I will tell right now is not scientific, you know, proven, but I will try to do it as easy as I can for someone that has no idea about theory. So, uh, we have four chords, E, C, D, B. So, it's easy to understand that the first chord in those kind of chord progression usually is the root note. So, we have an E, and E is the root. Now, when you listen to something like that, you think that it, 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 this is sad or happy. I'll play one more time. Sad or happy, major or minor. I think it's minor. Okay, anyone can understand that without knowing any theory and have any experience. So when we say minor, our first uh, always choice is Aeolian, natural and minor. So 99% this thing based on E Aeolian, E natural and minor. And when we say about E natural minor, we can Google it, and this is it. Heavy metal is minor, you know, this it goes like that, Iron Maiden is minor, Metallica is mainly minor, and etc, etc. So, E minor, and when we have E minor, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. So we have six natural notes and one note with a sharp, the F sharp. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. So we have only one sharp. Have that in mind because it's really important. And that's what I will do. I will transform each power chord into a real chord by using the notes of the scale. So we have E. E power chord, E and B. I want to find the third note of the E note from the scale. The, the E Aeolian scale has E, F sharp, G. So we have one E, third G. So instead of playing the, the power chord, I will play E and G. And it sounds really cool. Then I have a C power chord. In scale, we have C, D, E. Have in mind that we have only F sharp. So the root is C and the third of the C is E in the scale. So instead of playing C power chord, I will play C and E. Cool. Then I have a D. On D, I have D, E and F sharp because 
as we said before, the scale has one sharp in F. So instead of playing D, I will play D, F sharp. And final, I have the B power chord, B, C, D. Because the scale has B and D. We have only F sharp. Have that in mind. So, E, E, G. C, C, E. D, D, F sharp. B, B, D. And that's it. It sounds really cool. And what I will do now, I will have the pattern and I will play four bars of the power chord and four bars of the rhythm pattern. We will just hit E, C, D, B. One more time. E, C, D, B. And now transformation. E, G. C, E, D, F sharp, B, D. That's it. Really cool. What you prefer, the power chord or this one and third, uh, root and third pattern? You decide. I prefer the second. It has more, you know, it's more interesting rhythmically and you can hear the chord easily. What I will do now, I will speed it up a little bit from 120 to 180 and spice it a little bit, make it a little bit more challenging for the right hand. Two bars and let's go. One, two, one, two, go. E, C, D, B. One more time. E, C, and now the That's it. It sounds cool. I hope that you like it. And for me, the most important thing here is to understand the idea and with an easy way in a, by using the notes of the scale to transform something like that to something like that. That's it. I think easy. You don't have to be you know a theory expert to do something like that just simple sense and try to write down everything and understand how it works so it was little ziras and we transformed a boring power chord into something cool rhythmically and melodically and now you can make your own riffs by using any chord progression on any scale it's up to you theodore ziras guitarcourse.org if you like the lesson here on my patreon page is the link and you can join my Patreon page and I have everything about this video, backing tracks, guitar profiles, PDFs and instructions. And also you can support the guitarcourses.org channel. Thank you very much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.